Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we'll be talking about the unboxing Nature's Incarnate video. These are just some revealed stuff in the video that I want to talk about. I've already posted a video about HME. This is the new adversary that will be released in the next expansion. They finally have revealed the entire rule set. So this adversary is now fair game. So give it a shot. This is one of my favorite adversaries. I would probably put it at number probably between three and four favorite um england and russia are my one two and then i like mining and scotland as my three four so very enjoyable um yeah i, I can't wait to actually get some games played with this adversary to kind of show you um just how the adversary plays out and just to also create new content because i'm sure everybody is dying to see this uh, adversary in action okay let's look at some of the other stuff discussed so Shadows, they discussed the new dark fire aspect. Well, I shouldn't say discussed, uh, revealed. So we now have the new shadows aspect, and it's called dark fire. It says you may treat each moon available to you as being fire or vice versa, choosing during each action for each moon fire you have. You may discard or forget powers that grant moon to pay for fire, choice events, and vice versa. So... What that means is if I'm playing Shadows here, let's actually flip these up, and I have Mantle of Dread, I have a Moon Fire. If I want, I can have this card count as two Moon. I could have it count as two Fire, because remember it has a Moon or a Fire, so I can kind of double up the elements if I so choose. In addition, we gain a free element every turn, and it's Moon or Fire. So this extra element that we're gaining is going to allow these innates to be hit a lot easier, or at least increase the flexibility of hitting it maybe i don't have to play two perfect element cards i can play one of them and then maybe a card that i drafted as well and still hit this innate because of the flexibility of the elements in addition it says the first time each action would destroy your presence you may push one of their presence instead of it what this means is this allows shadows to first support the team but also prevent their presence destruction. So if you have a presence in a land and that land is blighting, well, it blights, it would be destroyed, but then it gets pushed. Now, I said support the team. What do I mean by that? So it says the, fe the, the first time each action would destroy your presence. So let's see if I can find an event. There are some blighted cards or maybe blighted events that destroy presence on each board. So a good example would be, if I could find it, Here, for instance, uh, no, I think this is each spirit. I know there's one that does it on here, but maybe I, is it this one? Nope. Yeah, this one here. So it says immediately on each board, destroy a presence. Well, now, if you have your presence spread out across different boards, you could just be the target for each board's destruction. And because of this rule here, your presence just gets pushed allowing you to save presence on other boards, assuming you kind of jump presence around uh, around the island. And it's not the biggest support tool. Um, it, this actually was nerfed last minute because um, it was actually really, really strong at one point. But um, it's it can be helpful in some situations. And finally, Darkfire gets to start with an extra card. It starts with Unquenchable Flames, and that is a minor power card. And let's look at that. Unquenchable Flames, it's a moon fire. One fear, one damage to buildings. It says, Invaders do not heal, and then if you have two fire, you may add a Badlands. This is another card that is more of a support tool, and we had talked about several different miners to put in the Shadows kit. There was many discussed, and this is the one that we felt wasn't too oppressive, but also wasn't too um, too good either. Or, um, too, uh, too oppressive or too weak. Um, it's just, just enough of impact to where you'll play it sometimes, but other times you won't. And really, it's that Badlands. Being able to give other spirits Badlands, as well as being a, a card that's perfect element for you, can be pretty helpful. Overall, I really like Darkfire. This is an aspect that I will bring to the channel, um, now that we have it completely revealed. And I also enjoy playing this aspect. I've played it a couple times. Um, I'm not sure about power level. I'm... I don't really care so much about that at this point. I just want to actually get some games in with this aspect and um, 
see where it takes me. Okay, so now we have Lightning and Green. And these are two spirits. They revealed two um, uniques, and we can't see the back in this picture, but they showed in the video. And I'll leave that video in the description. But it looks like Lightning is going to be getting this card over here on the left, and Green is getting this card on the right. And this is my first time seeing the artwork on these cards, so I'm just really excited. I mean, this just looks incredible. Um, I've always wanted to see a a plant-like monster just coming after the invaders, and this is this is everything I wanted. So, really hyped. Um, also, this is for the green aspect tangles, and we already know the lightning aspect revealed in a previous video, and that's going to be sparking. Sparking. And this aspect for green is one of my favorite aspects uh, in the game. Um, it's my favorite way to play green. I can't talk and I can't talk about it more than that. But um, what the card does is belligerent and aggressive crops. It's a sun, fire, plant, one energy, and it's a two range from a sacred site. You have to target buildings. You add wilds, one damage to buildings, and then if there's any adjacent lands with wilds, an additional damage and fear. So, a very strong card. Um, I can't wait until the entire Tangles kit is revealed because I want to play some games for the channel. Looking at the Lightning card, it's a 2 energy, Sun, Fire, Air, and it is a slow power. And that's about all that we get. So, can't wait to see what that card does as well. Looking at the last thing, I have Snake here. And we have the this Incarna snapshot. And this was taken from the rulebook. And they list... All of the different spirits that are getting Incarnas. Why is that important? Because it says that Serpent is getting an Incarna for the Locus aspect. And this is one of my favorite aspects in the game. And I know the community is going to love this thing. It is it is so much fun. So, um, so that concludes this video. We talked about Darkfire. We talked about some new uniques. Talked about Serpent getting a... Um, a Incarna. If you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I'll continue to be bringing some NI videos in the future, and I also will be playing some HME games. So, see you guys in the next video.